It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. Talking Monday Night Raw here from the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. With me, he is on the line. He is across the um, northeast. He is mad. Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. Hi, Sorg. Hey. Uh, uh, Sorg. Yes. This is the first this is the first time I watched I watched Raw live. Oh my, oh my. Cuz I, I wasn't working. Yes. Um so I couldn't fast forward through those commercials. Which is funny because this is the first time where I had a client uh, I had to uh, work with during Raw. It was on. I actually legit had Raw on on my phone on my desk cuz they didn't really need me to you know, I was, you know, I, I could divide up a little bit, right? Um, okay, hey, can you check? Is there a tab open? Because it sounds like it's me a while ago. Maybe not. It, no. All right. It's we have weird echoes on the internet. I don't know where they are. And maybe you guys They're don't ghosts. hear them. Maybe it's ghosts. just us. It could be completely just us. It's ghosts in the shell, Sorg. Apparently. But anyways, it's time to talk Monday Night Raw. And uh, like I said, um, I, think, I think generally um, you're going to have more of a – a, a, a in tune with this raw than I am because of uh, I had a lot going on here in the studio but uh, I gotta tell you one thing I am really excited for Halloween Havoc this weekend <sighs> Sorg. Sorg. no 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 let me take this back let me take this back maybe it's something that should be for the for, for, for the next show or for for Monday Night Raw tomorrow where we have Super Hentai on who's wearing a mask which is appropriate I think for the season um but it does if you just put it in the back of your head, no, this is not TLC. This is just WWE Halloween Havoc this weekend. I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy the this episode of Raw a little bit better. Put that in that context. Put that put that right. Halloween hold Havoc hat on for me, Mad Mike. Hold on, hold on. I can't do that for a number of reasons. One, it's not brought to us by Slim Jim. Two, there's no inflatable spooky ghost. We don't know yet. There is no inflatable spooky ghost. Mm. At best, we're going to get Bray Wyatt wearing some cheesecloth. <laughs> okay. And we're, we're going to get uh, Norman Bratz's sister versus Fergal as pumpkins. <laughs> I, I don't... <laughs> Sorg, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing anymore. I, I, I'm not going to lie. The beginning of Raw, the first five minutes, popped me really hard. Because like it, it was it was Sierra Hotel India Ico Lima Delta like and then they came out in in their gear and and Roman looked slightly different than before which was great and then the show just went off the rails and I think there's that soft middle um, that they where I was simply watching on subtitles uh, as I was paying attention to the work I had in front of me but. Uh, um, you know, we, we were streaming actually friend of the show, uh, Dutters was actually, uh, chatting with other friend of the show, uh, Jim on fishing without bait for an upcoming episode. So, so look over that Facebook's over on uh, Facebook live of the, the raw of that's over on the fa uh, fishing without bait Facebook page. But, uh, it, but still like, you know, it was just like, okay, well, I saw cruiserweights in the middle. Um, well, our, and Tina, Tina saying it's not complete unless we have spin the wheel, make the deal. And she's absolutely right. Oh, not wrong. Not wrong there for sure. But so, now, uh, Sorg, you know th this. this wait, wait, was... wait, 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 wait. We gotta address something in the chat room. It's Sister Sorgatron through the through the ether. First of yeah. all, I do have a sister, and she lives <laughs> and she lives north of here, and she's not appearing she's on the show a anytime soon. Chair aficionado. She's a what? She's a rocking chair aficionado. I, well, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Say exactly. It's all there. It's all a rich tapestry. It's all a rich tapestry. It's sort of wear over his face to make mm -hmm. it look like he's someone else. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you're, you're, I'm um, sorry. You were starting to say say before I went somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, is this the first TLC match where we don't have a tables match, a chairs match, and a ladder match? No, we just have a TLC. What the fuck? <laughs> but, but, but. I mean, we've had one Hell in a Cell on a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view before. Not recently. No, 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 not recently. But that has happened in the, like, 10-year history of a pay-per-view called Hell in a Cell. But, but, I, I just, like, 
it doesn't feel like a real TLC unless something is being hung from the rafters. But yeah, there's a little bit of missing there, isn't there? But in the meantime... Like, at least make Alexa and Mickey a ladder match. Yeah. yeah at I can least. Or, or Enzo and um, Kalisto. Make that a ladder match. Like, I guess that could still happen on 205 Live. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it ain't gonna. <laughs> is it? I love how uh, sure you're like, nothing cool is gonna happen here. Sorg, Sorg, the only male singles title that's going to be defended on TLC is the Cruiserweight title. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank, thanks for that. <laughs> that Let's little, wrap little our brains around that for a second. Oh, man. You were pissed about the main title not being defended. Holy shit. Like, uh, and uh, now, now, see, here's, here's where Raw kind of lost me. They had the Shield come out with, with the Shield music. Mm -hmm. And the shield swap fest, banner, and the shield dog. Banner, banner, banner. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Roman Reigns theme with an intro. Let's get, let's get it straight. It makes the difference. Yes, it does. But when we have the tag title match later on, burn it down. Why are we going back to that? Just oh, have them man. come out together. They're tag team champions. Right, 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 right. Like what? is the deal you're just telling us this is short-lived <laughs> maybe maybe I maybe mean, yeah you couldn't you couldn't keep it consistent throughout the this section of the storyline right and roman came out to his normal theme too i'm like what is the fucking point of this mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we I can only do don't. crowd control once per show mike you know what they should have done tonight instead of splitting up the shield the first night after they were put back together? We should have had the shield versus the newest band in WWE history, Elias and the Good Brothers. Elias and the Good Brothers. Tell me about the Good Brothers, Mike. The Good Brothers are Good Brothers, Sorg. <laughs> the Good Brothers, the Good Brothers, uh, Rhythm and Brother Blues. Brother Rhythm and Brother Blues. And they sang with Brother Elias. And it was pretty great. Yeah, and Dave is pointing out, and booze for the Roman entrance in the May event. He's absolutely right. This is a package deal, motherfucker. Yeah. You can't you can't just say dinner and a movie and then only do one. You have to give us all of it at the same time. I mean, we're being told by Brandon that uh, WWE 2K18 has an entrance mashup in the game. Maybe they're just promoting the game. Yes, actually, well, kind of they always are if you think about it. If they were promoting the game, then there would not be more than three people on one side of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, too. Um, I, you know, other than that, okay, let's talk about the, uh, hey, it's Halloween coming up. Did you know that? Could you tell by uh, Pumpkinhead Balor? Oh, God. Fergal, I, I said it before, Fergal has pumpkins. I, what, what the shit? <laughs> oh, it's losing me, but it's he's laughably so bad. Wasted. He's being so wasted in this. Why couldn't we have just had the Demon Balor versus the Beast Brock Lesnar for the Universal title? You could still do the shield. You could still do all of that. Like, Why? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like, Bray Wyatt is the saddest lady wearing a cheesecloth I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen several ladies wearing cheesecloth. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? I don't know. I was, I was trying to go somewhere with it. Yeah, I, I think, is, is, that a, is it your nightlife you were speaking to? Or? It sure gets all of our nightlives, really. Oh, 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 oh Okay. It's it's the great pumpkin, Michael Sorg. Oh. That's that's what DLC is. Going full names. Uh, well, I couldn't say Charlie Brown. How about it's the great pumpkin, Wyndham Rotunda? Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I'm I'm just gonna keep making fun of this man. Oh, I need to break out. I really need to break out the Mick Foley Halloween book. Yeah, you do. Because we're doing a pumpkin carving here in the studio here in a couple, now, couple I have a, weeks. Now, Sorg, I have a question. This is a bit future thinking, but um, when Raw has their when Raw has their special event for Christmas, is Finn going to come out as a Christmas creature? <gasps> oh yes. 
It's oh, just yes. an elf. And it's an elf demon. He's... I I, ho I hope it's an elf demon. Oh no, Sorg! You know it has to be. It's Krampus. It's it's Santa Finn. Santa Finn. It's it's Fergal Claus. Get oh, it? Oh no! Claws. No. C L A W S. It's None Fergal of these. Claws. None of these. Yes. Yes. It's it's. So can you tell? Not much happened on Raw today. <laughs> I thought some amazing things did happen. There there was the the Elias and the Good Brothers. Enjoyable. Yes. Enjoyable. Yes. That, yes. And then we had them going up against Team Take a Knee. I didn't know or care who they were going up against at this point. It was it was it was Apollo. Uh, Titus and Sh and I, w I was going to say Shelton Benjamin, but no, it's but Jason we, Jordan. We, but then we had the most Attitude Era ending to a Raw uh, to ever Attitude Era with just too much going on, too many people involved. OMG, this guy just came back. Uh, who? <laughs> like, unless Kane choke slammed Roman Reigns and then turned to hard camera and said, remember a vote this November, I don't give a shit. <laughs> please have a promo like that <laughs> i really like please just remember the vote this november where you will believe i can destroy this shit do you like, do you want a mayor that choke slams people to hell do you want a mayor that can enter through a ring in a very neatly proportioned hole destruction of property Destruction of the shield. <laughs> Vote for Sarah Petunia for a Knoxville mayor this November. Uh, I like what? Here's here's WWE's problem. Wait 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 wait. Uh, what? No, we're, no. we're just we're just hearing about your problems, but I need to get a take in on this. No 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 no. Sorry, no, 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 no. Sorry, no, no. You, sorry you did not hear how hot that crowd was for Curtis Axel. <laughs> No, I didn't because I was in subtitle mode. Curtis Axel was the most over motherfucker on that show, not in a damn SWAT vest. Yeah, and then he, then he got hung up. Why can't Curtis Axel be the fifth man, huh? I, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. Four there. for you, Glenn Coco. Team take Four it. for you. <laughs> oh, no. Tina just called out your team take a knee. I, yes. just, I just realized where you went with that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went there. Oh, that's a little too political for this show. I went there. That's oh, fine. No. Hashtag PMS. Hashtag oh, political. No. <laughs> oh, it is PMS. <laughs> yeah, it is. Matt Hardy was absent, but it was on that video game. Oh, oh um, Keen, I hope you're wrong. There oh, you Keen, go. I hope you're Does wrong. This mean? Does this mean we're getting uh, Roman versus Kane buried alive in Survivor oh. Series? No, yes, please. No. No. Because why, why would you have a pay-per-view based on team-based matchups if you're not going to put the shield in one of those teams? Oh, we've ignored that for years. Come on. Is it an anniversary no, no, for but, Kane? Uh, is it? Is, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let, let me roll this around. I don't Hold on. want... Hold on. Mike. I don't want 45-year-olds on my wrestling show. Mike. I don't. Well. Just in general. I Mike. don't. Mike. <laughs> yes. Mike. I love yeah. that Kane came back tonight. <laughs> I love it. That, <laughs> it was sorry, a genuine I, surprise. I loved it. I thought it fucking blew. I thought it was great. I thought he was like, it's like, oh, who's the fifth guy? Well, okay, someone we haven't seen before. Well, it's who could it be? It's someone who has to take the pin. So, yeah. <laughs> it's someone who has to take the pin. That's exactly what it is, and that's why it should have been Curtis Axel. Oh, oh, but man, the idea of Kane and Braun as the new brothers of destruction oh, makes I me so, so, so happy. Sorg, here's something I'm going to guarantee you. Here's something I'm going to guarantee you, and this also goes out to Brandon in the chat room. There will be miscommunication during the TLC match, and we're going no! to get, and we are going to get Kane versus Braun Strowman at Survivor Series because fuck all of us. That's why. No, 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 no. I agree with the chat room here, where uh, Brandon's saying that Kane and Strowman are going to be absolutely the new tag team champions. Absolutely on Raw. not. Absolutely. Kane, Kane is going to absolutely accidentally get hit by a ladder by Strowman, and then we are going to see the Demon Shield. Versus Miz, the Miztourage, and Braun Strowman at Survivor Demon Series. Shield. The Demon Shield. Because I when you're it. running for wait, a wait, mayoral, wait, wait. mayoral campaign, you want to be associated wait. with the name Demons. Wait, because you're kind of pissed about that. 
I think that sounds great. <laughs> I think that's worth my nine ninety nine. So our WWE reviews haven't been worth my nine ninety nine for a long time. Oh man, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh man, I I think that's something. Uh, but Dave's saying Dave's saying that it has has been twenty years since the Taker and Michaels match for uh, the Kane introduction. But I don't know what show that was necessarily. That was but but certainly blood. for this that month, was, right? That, that was, was bad blood. bad blood. That was on Bad Blood in nineteen ninety seven, and he's right. Yes. But still, I don't want 45-year-olds in my main events. I, am. I don't. I don't need them anymore. Your main events. Call, call me ageist if you want. I don't give a shit. Help. I don't want 45-year-olds in the TLC match in the Bo- main event. Bobby Roode's 40. Yeah, he's not 45. <laughs> You're ageist. Sure, I'm okay with that. Put him in the dark match. Put him in the pre-show. You know what I'm excited put about, Kane, Mike? Put Kane versus Elias in the pre-show for Elias stealing Taker's old school move. Huh? Ooh. How about that? Oh, How about game. that? Yeah. If we want to use Kane, if we want to give Kane some love and some dap for his 20 years, let's do that instead. Have Elias try to do that against Apollo Crews again. All of a sudden, the lights go out, the turnbuckles get set on fire, and he's holding Kane's arm instead, and he goes all white as a ghost, and Kane grabs him, choke slams him off the top rope. How about that? There, I just wrote a better story in two seconds thinking about it. Oh, man. Road Dog, you are not. We also, you know what, you know what we, we also, can blame this we on? We also could have had Samoa Joe be the first. You know what this could blame this on? Jimmy Jacobs getting fired last week. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Jimmy Jacobs wouldn't let this happen. Yeah. And, and Tina, I know Mickey's 38, but she's not 45. I don't want 45 women, 45 year old women on my main event either. Oh, shit. No, I'm looking out now, for their bodies. Send your sword. emails to madmike at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. That's, that's fine. That's not a real email address. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get the, No, actually, we'll, we will get email at that. Okay. All right. That's fine. I, I don't get it. So. <laughs> Actually, I think you will. Really? Yeah. Then why, have we, then why have we been saying good times all these years? Well, technically, I think it's like a catch-all account, so anything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com can give us email. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So if you yeah, want to write your emails but, to uh, Mike's an asshole yeah. at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, sure. I'm pretty Great. sure we'll get it. Somebody's going to do be that. Fair, I have to be fair, I have to live up to the name Mad Mike sometimes. You guys gave it to me. Oh, but I like the Cruiserweight stuff tonight, except the fact that Michael Cole doesn't watch 205 Live. Where is that? I don't, I'm not catching. Uh, it, no, uh, Will said it's better to be ageist than racist, uh, which is true. This, this, listen, if we're going to pick a pickinist. It's true. It's Or TNAist. No, no, no. It's always okay to be TNAist. It's okay. It's okay to be globalist, Sork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is accurate. No, I I like what they did with the cruiserweights tonight. We got we got some fun stuff there, mm-hmm. but Michael Cole doesn't watch two hundred five live, <laughs> and he he openly admitted by saying, "Oh, I don't know what's going on with Jack Kelleher. Really, I fucking do. I watch the show. I do a podcast on Michael Cole Midweek War. You should listen to it sometime. You know, Midweek he'll, he'll War War. Michael Cole is a world ju- war journal ju- correspondent from back in the day." Another 45-year-old I don't need on my TV. Michael Cole? Yeah. Jeez. Just saying. Man, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when we're 45 doing this podcast? We're not getting paid, Sork. <laughs> we're yeah. doing it for yeah, the love of I the mean, business. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Nobody's, All right. I'm not getting paid, Sork. Nobody's, nobody's paying nine ninety nine for, well, except for Billy. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. We love you. We love you, Billy. <laughs> All right. Well, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I'd say an hour 15. An uh, hour 15? Yeah, no. I I mean, uh, the opening segment was fine. I wish the Shield actually just beat the shit out of Kurt Angle. That would have been fun. <laughs> but, uh, and again, yeah, I had a, I had and a, Booker. Booker is older, and Booker needs to go the fuck away now. Oh, Booker. Booker doesn't watch I love anything. You, Booker. Booker doesn't watch the show. He's commenting. No, on. Booker, it's okay. It's okay. Booker, Booker watched our show, so it's Booker right. put a mascot through a table this weekend. Sorg, that's he what did? Booker T should be doing. Where did yeah. he do that? <laughs> I'll post. I'll post a picture in the in the. Uh, I need to see this to make my here. my life better. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, 
no, uh, no. Uh, all right, uh, I'll say an hour and a half. I'll say I'll say half hour and a half. Now, okay, now like I said, a lot was happening. We had somebody in the studio, and I had a lot of people in and out. And we were we were kind of talking around raw, um, but I'm gonna go flat two hours just from what I observed. Okay, I guess that's fair. Um, I, I, it's kind of weird seeing the rest of the TLC cards shape out when there's no title matches. And then oh, yeah, we do we do have some chat room that might be pr- approaching the 45 Could- mark, buddy. Hey, no, I never said anything about people in the chat. I never said anything about wrestling fans. I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm saying like main event pro wrestlers. Kane is giving them some hope. It was 45 year olds out there. I mean, like, man, if Kane can light shit on fire and come back, then I can make some shit happen too. Which don't Sorg, don't and Dave Dave don't light your cubicle on fire tomorrow and just like Dave choke, light your cubicle your on neighbor. fire no 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 no, no. we at the Wrestling setting? Man Show do not condone lighting of cubicles on fire. This is me, Mike Rorson, speaking outside of the Mayhem Show. Light your cubicle on fire and paint your face like a pumpkin while you do it. Here is the big question. The big question <laughs> for you, Mike. Tina Keys is asking. Remember, she has, I believe, a nine-year-old. Was it? Um, uh huh. Uh-huh. Is two hundred five live going to be worth sticking around for? Laugh. Um. Well, I mean, they announced two matches for two hundred five live, which I don't usually do. Uh, they announced a tag team match: Enzo and Arya versus Mustafa Ali and oh, who's the other one? Kalisto, of course. Uh, so that should be fun. They also announced Gallagher versus Rich Swan. So I'd say that's shaping up to be a pretty decent 205 Live. I'd say um, um, stick around for the first segment or so. If you're not digging it, go ahead and bolt. Yeah, I I would also like um, maybe ask him what he thinks of the Cruiserweights. Like maybe show him a 205 Live match before you go. And if he's digging on it, then, you know, gauge your reaction. But I think if he likes Enzo, if he likes Kalisto, should be a fun show. And plus, I, I think it also depends on how – Smackdown ends tomorrow night. Absolutely. If, Smack- Mad Mike, if SmackDown closes hot, then yeah, right. absolutely. Mad Mike, what do you uh Thursday? What's happening Thursday? Oh, Thursday, sort Thursday. It, it's a very special day for us. It is the season three finale of Lucha Underground and Man Oh Man. Are we going big? First of all, Lucha's a two hour show on Wednesday, so that's a big enough thing in itself. But we are bringing back friend of the show Antonio Garza he'll be back so we're going to get those dulcet Spanish tones mm-hmm. and also oh hold on sorry sorry I'm I'm getting something in my headpiece yes confirmed Lucha Underground co-executive producer Krista Joseph will be back on the show he is going to be answering none of our questions <laughs> and it's gonna be great and what time is that gonna be that's going to be around 10 Eastern, around 10, because I'm working on Thursday. I'm slinging toys for people. But after that, we're going to be talking violence, blood, lucha, and, of course, mayhem. Sorry, where can people find you? Uh, SorgatronMedia.com. I just realized there was somebody I tried booking for 10 o'clock, and I forgot that. That was the thing that was happening. We need to put that on the calendar, Mike. Uh, no, SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of things going on there. Some great discussions. Like I said, friends of the show and things. Uh, talking about scary things, especially this week, uh, on the awesome cast and the uh, the Fishing Without Bait and our friends at the Scare House podcast and so much more. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, chat room out there. I know um, we had – oh, I just closed the window. Uh, thank you, Dave, Wheels, Brandon, Tina, and everybody else that popped in throughout the evening uh, that I may have missed. I saw a lot of new names out there. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This has been your Raw Wrap-Up. This is uh, Sorg with Mad Mike. Uh, we'll see you at 10 p.m. Eastern time, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com or the Facebook live stream. Uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Super Hentai will be joining us at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll be talking about wrestling, and we talk about him. And this is a guy that has trained in Hayabusa, Japan. We talked about him uh, with him ages ago about this, and we're going to have another conversation with him and catch up with him as he's been making the rounds again and rejuvenating his long, long career in pro wrestling. Looking forward to that. Hopefully he doesn't headbutt anybody. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw.